I've been waiting for you to arrive. I'm busy trying to arrange these flowers. Now, what do you think? Do you think they look better in separate colours? Just the reds, all the yellows on their own, and all the blues together like this? Or do you like them all mixed up? I think they look better all higgledy-piggledy. It's exciting when you see how colours all look together. I suppose that's why I dress like this. It's a bit like making a pattern of colours, isn't it? That's what my friends are doing over here. Making colourful patterns. This is Kimberly. Hello. Hello, Kimberly. And this is Harry. Hello. And Harry's doing a wild and exciting pattern in blue. Matches your T-shirt, doesn't it, Harry? Yes. I wonder if Kimberly's pattern matches her dress too. What colour is Kimberly's dress? Yellow. Yellow, that's right. Did you get that? But her pattern's not yellow, is it? Definitely not. What colour is it, Kimberly? Green. It's green. There are colours all around us, aren't they? Just look at our clothes. My clothes have got all the colours of the rainbow. What's your favourite colour, Kimberly? Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Very rich. Very expensive. What about you, Harry? Red. Your favourite's red? Mm. But you've gone all blue today, haven't you? Yes. You at home, close your eyes for a moment. Go on, close them. I promise you won't miss anything. Now keep your eyes closed and see if you can remember, without looking, what colours you're wearing today. Now open your eyes again and have a look. Were you right? Sometimes it's difficult to remember, isn't it? We're going to look at lots of colours today and we're going to sing songs and read lots of rhymes about colours too. They're all in this book, so you can follow along with the words and pictures if you like. The first song is about my favourite colour. Can you guess what it is? I ride my little bicycle, I ride it to the shop. And when I see the big red light, I know that I must stop. Now, can you guess what my favourite colour is? It's the same as the stoplight. Yes, red. Now, I'll sing the song again, and then I'll read you a red rhyme. Well, the rhyme's not red, but the things in it are... I ride my little bicycle, I ride it to the shop. And when I see the big red light, I know that I must stop. Two red engines standing in a row, with the carriages behind them waiting to go. The air driver takes his place, the people all jump in. The guard blows his whistle, and then the fun begins. Chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff. Here's another red engine. Let's see if we can finish the jigsaw. There's just a couple of pieces left to fit in. There we are. The engine driver takes his place. The people all jump in. The guard blows his whistle, and then the fun begins. Chuff, chuff, chuffity chuff. Have you ever played Oranges and Lemons? It's a song and a game, but we don't actually have to use Oranges and Lemons. Sometimes, when bells chime, they make a sort of tune which reminds us of words. Well, our next song is all about bells. Did you know that all the bells mentioned in the song are in important buildings in the City of London? Oranges and lemons, say the bells of St. Clement. Oops, you owe me five farthings, say the bells of St. Martin's. When will you pay me, say the bells of Old Bailey. When I grow rich, say the bells of Shoreditch. Pray, when will that be? Say the bells of Stepney. I'm sure I don't know, says the great bell at Bow. Here comes a candle to light you to bed. 
Here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Chip, chop, chip, chop the last man's head. What should I be, an orange or a lemon? A lemon. A lemon. A lem oh, you have the orange then? I say, all right, go and share it. You won't like the lemon anyway. <laughs> Honestly, I always get left with the lemon. Anyway, here are two more little rhymes about the colour orange. The autumn leaves have fallen down, fallen down, fallen down. The wind it came and blew them round, and blew them around. Tiger in the jungle, tiger up a tree. Tiger in the long grass, you can't catch me. Autumn leaves are orange coloured. Well, some are red, some are yellow, and some are sort of browny coloured. And some bright orange. It's a lovely autumn mixture of colours. And I always think of gold and orange being the main colours. And what's orange here? Hmm? That's right, the tiger's stripes. Tiger in the jungle, tiger up a tree. Tiger in the long grass, you can't catch me. Look, the fruit called an orange really is coloured orange all over. Beautiful colour, isn't it? Lovely smell and taste too. And what colour's a banana? And that's our next colour. I think it was the best of luck that I was born a little duck with yellow socks and yellow shoes so I may wonder where I choose. Hooray for Billy Bumble, who had a big tumble. Up he jumped and rubbed his bump and didn't even grumble. Mix a pancake, stir a pancake, pop it in the pan. Fry the pancake, toss the pancake, catch it if you can. Now I can't promise that this is going to work. I've mixed a pancake, I've stirred a pancake, I've popped it in a pan, I've fried the pancake, and now I've got to toss it and catch it if I can. Oh well, here goes. One, two, three. I knew it wouldn't work. Still, as I was saying, pancakes are yellow. My favourite flowers are yellow too. I've got lots of them in my garden, and often they grow in fields and woods, and even by the roadside. They're called daffodils. There are many different types of beautiful yellow flowers, but look, have you noticed they're not all exactly the same colour? They're all yellow, but some are a very light yellow, like this, and some are a much darker yellow colour, like this. And that's true of all colours. There are lighter shades and darker shades. You see, the frog and my trousers are both green. But my trousers are a much lighter colour. Now you can guess what colour the next song is about. I am a little green pea in this fat pod I hide With seven other green peas all sitting side by side When I am old and wrinkled I'm going to be sown I'll be a pea plant full of pods when I am fully grown. Who's that tickling my back, said the wall. It's me, said the caterpillar. I'm learning to crawl. Inside some jelly in a pond there was a little egg. One day it grew a wiggly tail and then a little leg. Then three more legs began to grow. The tail became much shorter. A small green frog hopped on the rocks, then swam across the water. I love that frog poem. Do you know where frogs come from? First, there's frog spawn, the jelly in the pond in the same poem. Then there are tadpoles, little wiggly things. And then they turn into frogs. He must have heard me.
The month of May is bluebell time and under the woodland trees. Small bells of blue on long straight stems are swaying in the breeze. My mummy says they're wild flowers from little bulbs they grow. I think the fairies put them there a long, long time ago. Last night I heard the bluebells ring, I heard their distant chimes. Last night I heard the fairies sing of long forgotten times. You know, I used to love smelling bluebells when I was little, and I loved that rhyme. Last night I heard the bluebells ring, I heard their distant chimes. Last night I heard the fairies sing of long forgotten times. I wonder what the bluebells said when they chimed. Now, what colour would you say a hippopotamus was? Grey? Yes, good. Real ones are. But in our next rhyme, the hippos are all blue, and they can fly. Well, that's what's fun about rhymes, isn't it? Anything can happen. Listen. Up in the pale blue sky, well hidden from our sight, float pale blue hippopotami, which turn dark blue at night. When naughty pale blue hippos see washing out to dry, they bounce about on big fat clouds, and rain falls from the sky. I've only ever seen hippos wallowing in water and mud. Imagine if there really were pale blue hippos bouncing about on clouds. If you ever see one, will you let me know? Promise. Before we read the next rhyme, let's just look at the colours we've talked about. We started off with red, didn't we? Now, remember the big red light? Oh, there it is again. There we are, the red light. And then we had the orange, didn't we? Yes, the orange. Getting bigger and bigger. Cool. That would fill you up, that orange, wouldn't it? And then came a fluffy yellow duck. It's going to be a fluffy big duck, I think. With its little yellow feet. His little eye. There's its wing. Lots of feathers. And remember the yellow pancake too. Hmm, how could I forget? Looks a bit like a yellow orange, that, doesn't it? And then we had green peas in a pod. Do you remember? There's the pod. And there's the peas inside the pod. And a small green frog. There's his head. There's one leg. Two legs. There's his back leg sticking out at the back. There's his little body. Two big eyes and a green smile. And after the green, it was bluebell time. Here's a bluebell. They're pretty flowers, aren't they? And those extraordinary blue hippos. I must say, I've never seen a blue hippo. There's a little tail. Hmm. <laughs> There's its eyes. Hippo's smiling too. Now then. Do you know what colour this is? It's called purple. And here are lots of purple flowers. 
Ooh, lots and lots. And more and more and more. And that's what our next rhyme's about. In Granny's lovely garden, lots of purple flowers bloom. Sometimes I pick a bunch for her to brighten up her room. In spring, the purple violets grow with heart-shaped leaves so small. They light the dark, damp patches beneath the mossy wall. In summer, Granny's lavender just hums with buzzing bees. Its purple flowers stand up on spikes above its silvery leaves. In wintertime, plants have a rest and hide beneath the snow. But in some sheltered places, buds of purple crocus show. Two crayons left now. This is the colour of tree trunks. And wooden fences. There's a wooden fence surrounding the tree trunk. Yes, it's brown. And I've got two rhymes for you about the colour brown. A little rabbit in a tree was bobbing up and down. His little tail was soft and white. His two long ears were brown. But when he heard a tiny noise, his eyes were black as coal. His little whiskers trembled and he scuttled down the hole. Next one's about a big brown owl. A big brown owl lives in a tree, in a hole in the hollow tree. Listen to what he says to me. To wit, to woo. At night I fly across the sky. If you listen, you'll hear my cry. To wit, to woo. To wit, to woo. One crayon left. Let's read the rhyme. Of all the colours under the sun, pink must be my favourite one. It's so easy for me to think of lots of nice things that are pink. There's pink blancmange and strawberry ice, sweet candy floss that tastes so nice, and blossom on the cherry tree, raining petals down on me. Pink. Which of those things in the rhyme did you like? The strawberry ice cream? Mm-mm. Delicious. Lovely. We've used all eight of our colours now, and we've still got some colour rhymes left. I'll read you the next one, and then you tell me the colour. I'll give you a clue. It's the colour of the spider. Big black spider climbs the wall. Never, never, never seems to fall. Yet I always fall when I climb the garden gate. I've only got two legs, and he's got eight. OK, ready to shout the colour? It was... Black! Yes, well done. And now I've got another rhyme about lots of black animals. One black cat sitting in a tree. Two black cats paddling in the sea. Three black cats swinging on a swing. Four black cats dancing in a ring. Five black cats drinking lemonade. Six black cats digging with a spade. Seven black cats wearing sailor hats. Eight black cats waving cricket bats. Nine black cats standing on their heads. Ten black cats sleeping in their beds. Black cats are supposed to bring good luck, aren't they? Well, we should have ten times good luck after that rhyme. Our next animal is much, much bigger than a cat and is coloured grey. The elephant is large and grey. His long trunk is his nose. He sniffs and picks things up with it. It looks just like a hose. He flaps his ears to keep him cool and shoo away the flies. He has a tail just like a rope and beady little eyes. But even though he's very big and strong and heavy too, he is the gentlest animal of all those in the zoo. Here's another grey rhyme. This time, listen out for what it is that's coloured grey. 
Listen carefully because the colour is only mentioned once. Down comes the rain, down comes the rain, beating on the roof and on the window pane, flooding the gutter and washing the street with splishy, splashy puddles all about my feet. Dark are the grey clouds, splash it comes again. I'm as happy as a duckling paddling in the rain. Did you hear what it was that was grey? That's right, it was the clouds. Dark are the grey clouds. Splash it comes again. I'm as happy as a duckling paddling in the rain. And so we come to the last colour in our rhymes book. That's the colour white. Brush your teeth each morning, brush your teeth at night. That's the way to keep them strong and shining white. If you do this little job, Everyone will say, what lovely teeth you children have. Let's see you smile today. Softly, softly, falling so. This is how the snowflakes go. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter, pit-pit-pat. Down go the raindrops on my hat. Let's go and see how Kimberly and Harry are getting on. Oh, I've been busy drawing. I see. What's this? Oh, oh, it's a lovely old grey jumbo, isn't it, Kimberly? Fabulous. The elephant is large and grey. His long trunk is his nose. He sniffs and picks things up with it. It looks just like a hose. <laughs> oh, and this is very nice. Oh, a great big green caterpillar. Is that his head up there? Yes. It's tiny. It's a great big lumpy body. Who's that tickling my back? said the wall. It's me, said the caterpillar. I'm learning to crawl. Do you know what this is here? Well, it's my dressing up box. So it's full of old and exciting clothes. Come on, let's have a look inside. We can find something that we can wear in here. Yeah, who fancies that? Kimberly? Yes? Have a go in there. It's about you, Harry. Hey, you put the green one on. Have you got a dressing up box at home? They're great. What's your favourite colour, Kimberly? Gold and silver. Gold and silver. Well, i save that for you. Right, shall I put it on your head? You don't mind if I do, do you? There. Ooh, lovely. What's your favourite colour? Red. Red. That's yours. Shall I put one on as well? Can you fit that on as well? Very nice. All right. I'm going to put one on too. Here we go. Oh, we know a song, don't we? We can do this. Do you remember it? Here we go. Hands ready. Boys and girls, come out to play. The moon to shine as bright as day. Leave your supper and leave your sleep. And join your playfellows in the street. Come with a whoop and come with a call. And come with a goodwill or not at all. You find milk and I'll find flour And we'll have pudding in half an hour I'll beat you, I'll beat you ah! <laughs> Well, I'm really thirsty now, aren't you? That was great. I tell you what, we'll have a nice drink And then, shall I read you a story? And I'll read you a story There we are Orange for Kimberly Thank you, Thank you. that's the orange one Lemon for Harry. Thank you. That's the yellow one. And black currant for me. What colour would you say that was? Purple. Yeah, I think it is purple. Like the flowers in our rhyme. Now, I promised you a story, didn't I? You remember that rhyme about the fluffy yellow duck? I think it was the best of luck that I was born a little duck. Well, this story is about a little duck called Derek. The story's called The Duck Who Didn't Like Rain. Derek was a new duckling. He lived with his family by the big pond. Mr and Mrs Duck were proud of their ducklings. Every morning they took them for a long walk. It was a long, dry spring that year. But at last it rained, and that's when the trouble started. Mrs Duck was excited to see the rain. She lifted her wing carefully and woke the ducklings. 
Look, children, she said, it's a lovely wet day. The ducklings rubbed the sleep from their eyes. Is that the rain you told us about, Mum, they asked. They beat with excitement. Let us proceed, cried Mr Duck. The Duck family set off in a long line. But Derek lagged behind. What is it, dear? asked his mother kindly. Don't like it, said Derek in a small voice. Don't like the rain, makes my toes feel tickly. Makes your toes feel tickly, cried Derek's father. Who ever heard of a duckling with tickly toes? Mrs Duck didn't shout. That evening she paid a visit to old Ma Goat. Ma Goat kept a shop. She sold most things. Mrs Duck was in luck. The old goat had some Wellingtons, just the right size for Derek. There. Next time it rained, Mrs Duck gave Derek the Wellingtons. Let us depart, cried Mr Duck. How's that, Derek? asked Mrs Duck kindly. Still don't like it, whispered Derek. Musses up my feathers and spoils my hair. Spoils your hair? cried Derek's father. It was very upset to have a son who worried about his hair. Mrs Duck went to old Ma Goat again. What luck! She had a smart cape and hood, just the right size for Derek. Next time it rained, the Duck family shouted cheerfully, Hurry up, Derek, put on your cape and Wellingtons. How's that, dear? asked Mrs Duck. It's lovely, Mum, replied Derek. Suddenly, he saw a huge rainbow. What's that, Dad? asked Derek. That, my boy, said his father, is a rainbow. A rainbow comes when the sun tries to shine through the rain. It's lovely, Dad, said Derek. He gazed up at the bright colours. He looked around in wonder. Everything sparkled in the rain. After that, Derek wanted it to rain every day. He didn't always see a rainbow, but he loved exploring in the rain. And sometimes he was in such a hurry that he even forgot to put on his cape and wellingtons. Derek liked all the bright colours of the rainbow, didn't he? Do you know how many colours there are in a rainbow? Let's have another look at that picture and we'll count them. All together then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven colours in a rainbow. Let's see if we know what all the colours are. Right, Kimberly. Oh, red. Harry says that's red. What's that? Orange. Orange. Yellow. Yellow. Harry? Green. Green. Blue. Blue. What's purple. that? Purple. Oh, that's not purple. What's that dark colour there? Do you know? What's it look like to you? Dark purple. Dark purple. Well, it's called indigo in a rainbow. Indigo. Indigo, that's right. It's a sort of darky blue, blue colour. And that's violet. violet, yes, but that looks a bit purple, doesn't it? Mm. And they're all colours of the rainbow. Really, it's light reflected through water. And you know, you get the same effect when you look closely at soap bubbles. Let's have a go, shall we? Here you are. That's yours, Harry. That's Thank yours, you. Kimberly. Let's see if we can all blow bubbles and see rainbows in them. Oh. Ah, well done, Kimberly. Can you see them? Can you see the little rainbows inside the bubbles? Now let's see who can blow the biggest bubble. Oh, look at that one. Harry and Kimberly are going to mix some colours to make other shades and lots more colours. And you can do this at home too when you're painting. Now let's see what colours we can make. On Harry's paper, I'm going to put a great big splodge of red. Right. And now, what colour would you like, Harry? Blue. Blue. To make what colour? Purple. OK, let's see if it works. You put that in the middle of the red. And it makes purple. Brilliant. 
OK, what colour would you like to make, Kimberly? Like, you want to make brown? No, you don't. I'll tell you what, well, I'll make brown in a minute, because we haven't got the right colours for brown, and I'll show you why. I'll tell you what, Kimberly, if we start off with a great big splodge of yellow, right, and I clean the brush there for you now, because we don't get the wrong colours in the palette, and we put a splodge of red in it. What do you think that will make? Orange. Go on, try it out and see what happens in the middle of the yellow. And it's making... <gasps> it's making orange. It's brilliant, isn't it? All right, what else can we make now? Harry, I know. What if you... Have you washed out your brush? Yes. Good, all right. Let's try on another piece of paper. We'll put that one there. We've got our purple there. And we put, say we put um, yellow on there. And you make, oh, I know I put a bit of yellow in there. That's why you've got to be so careful about washing your brush out, don't you? What if I wanted some green? And I'll tell you why I want to make green in a minute, all right? What would you do to make green on that yellow? What would you put? What would you add to it? Do you know, Kimberly? Blue. blue. Shall we try a bit of blue, then? Come on, put a bit of blue in the middle of that. See what comes out. What colour is it? Green. Green. Great. Can I use a bit of your green, then? Yeah. Let me use some of your green. I'll put some of that green on there, right? Now, you wanted brown, didn't you? All right, and we didn't have a green, but we've got a green now. So now that we've got a green on the page, how would we make that into brown? What would we add to it? Blue and red? Shall we try red first? Yeah. All right, put a little bit of red, a tiny little bit. That's it. I'll put it in the green and see what happens. Swish it round a bit. Come on, I'll get some more green. Yeah, lovely. Well, that bit's gone brown. That's gone, there's too much red on that. You see, you can make all different sorts of shades and different levels of them. See? That's browner than that one. But they're two different shades of brown, aren't they? And you can make orange with a red colour, and you can make purple with a red colour we made, didn't we? And we made brown with a red colour as well. Now then, let's make... I know. Put some black on there, will you, Kimberly? And you put some white on your brush. And let's see what happens. Right. A little bit of white on there. Now pass that over to Harry. See what comes out. What colour is that? Do you know? Grey. Grey, isn't it? And that's the colour of that big, strong, gentle animal that we saw in the zoo. Remember that old elephant from the story? Well, that's its colour. Grey. Well done. I hope you've enjoyed having fun with colours. Goodbye. 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 Now, what colour do you want to make? Make any colour you like. They are. Start off with the blue. That's right. And Kimberly, you start off with yellow. Let's see what comes out. 